What's up everybody, Lucas here. This video is gonna teach you how to do a standing full in only five minutes. But you gotta focus. This standing back full or standing full that I'm gonna show you is kinda like a standing cork, all right? So it's more horizontal than the gymnastics version. So it's kinda more the tricking version, all right? If you guys are looking for the gymnastics version, you can use some of the steps from this to, to get that move. With that being said, guys, let's get started. So the standing back full, you wanna pick a shoulder to go over, okay? To go backwards over um, or horizontal over, right? I like turning towards my left, so if you like turning towards your right, just kinda of go opposite the ways I do in here. That's also the way you're gonna spin. So if I go my left, I spin this way, all right? So for the first minute, determine, spin, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to do a jump 360. That's it for the first whole minute. Just do a few of those, okay? If you haven't really jumped around or done any twist flips yet, you really wanna work on the 360. It's a key part to learning the twist flips, okay? Just the simple 360 sounds basic. It's like, I don't wanna be basic. Bend your knees, don't go all the way down, just a little bit. Jump 360 towards the way you wanna do it. And notice when you bring your arms in, you go faster. So you can have your arms out, in, okay? Moving on to the second whole minute. We are gonna do basically a makaku. So the makaku, you guys might know from the backflip videos, um, it helps you, really helps you get over that fear, especially when you're jumping backwards. But honestly, for this move, you don't even really have to go totally upside down. You can go kind of horizontal and milk it for the first few steps. I want you to face this way like this, bend your knees slightly, and you're gonna put your hand down like this, all right, and get in all fours. Hand pointing, not like this, so not this way, but pointing back this way. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your other arm, you're gonna tuck it in like this, and you're gonna swing yourself around like that. So first start with everything on the ground, and then just do a few of these, and then bam. And what this is gonna be is actually kind of the horizontal motion of the full, okay, or the standing cork. And then, or that second minute, stand up more and more, and try to use less and less of your hand. All right, moving on to minute three. This is gonna look kind of lame, because it is kind of lame. Okay, so, but pay attention because it's gonna help out. You're gonna take your makaku that you just learned, and what you're gonna do is we're gonna try to not put our hands down now. You're gonna throw over the shoulder, and instead of putting your hand down, you wanna almost do this crappy gainer. You can put your hand down at first if you need to, so. But eventually, you get lighter and lighter. You don't even have to really get totally upside down. You can just kind of get that motion down, okay? You wanna start this way, and you wanna end this way. All the standing full really is, is that cheesy makaku with no hands mixed with the 360. Say what? Moving on to minute number four. This is where stuff's gonna get real janky, but you know what? Sometimes in an ASAP tutorial though, guys, you gotta you know, cut some corners, you know, peek at some answers, you know? Basically, do the standing 360, okay? From three to four, so you have two minutes left. Ooh, gotta hurry up. But this time what I want you to do is you're gonna throw over that shoulder, okay? So you're gonna use your arms like this. You're gonna throw over that shoulder, but instead of just throwing like this, you wanna have them out, go up, and then in. So you get a big swing, and then you bring them in tight. So big swing, then bring them in tight, and just do your 360. So big, jump, tight. And you'll start to notice things start to get strange. <clears throat> things are getting twisty. For the first 30 seconds, is you're just gonna work on an arm motion. For the second 30 seconds of the second to last minute, you're gonna do a 360, but instead of landing in the same spot, you're gonna jump a little bit backwards. So. I know that sounds stupid. Jump a little bit backwards. Moving into the final minute now. Basically the makaku with a little 180 and just land. Just always kind of be aware of the ground. You might want to put some pads down. Uh, I'm not doing that though. With just the 180 now. So you just tuck in tight with the arms and you get a little extra turn. Like that. All right, just be aware of the ankles. All right, you do the makaku with no hands. You do that little 180 twist from the over the shoulder jump like this. The final 30 seconds, you're gonna commit. A few moves that might help you out, if you can already do a B twist, it feels a lot like a B twist. If you can already do a cart full, it feels a lot like a cart full. If you can already do a cork, it's almost identical to a cork, but you don't get that kick motion because you're doing it off of two legs, all right? So you need to work on throwing your body up first and then pulling your legs up Tucking your body in, doing the one 360 and then landing. Same 360 as this, but you're gonna be going over in that makaku motion. That's the key to tying it all together. Might wanna put a few pads down, mattress or something, but after that, you got it. 
If you guys are looking to get in shape for the summer, check out my 12-week calisthenics program, Body Weight Beast, on sale on OnlyKindsFitness.com. Check it out. Get strong with your body weight. If you're looking to learn more flips and tricks and stuff, check out my five-minute tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe. Uploads Monday through Friday. Peace. You all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.